before you came round I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster Before you came round I was ready to blow me down Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I created this glittery look for you with blush on the temples using the NYX face and body glitters. I used two of those. I used the ColourPop Dream Street palette, and I used the Prism palette from Anastasia. I also used one color from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini palette. You don't have to use these colors, you can use whatever you'd like, um, but these are just the colors that I had on hand and decided to go with. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. First things first, I gotta pull this hair back, so I'm pinning it up, and I'm starting off with Soft Ochre Paint Pop from MAC, which is a light-toned uh, primer, and I'm gonna use Dream Street Palette from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. I'm gonna go into the color Moony, which is a really beautiful highlighty shade, and for some reason on camera, it doesn't really show up as shiny as it does in real life, but it's really beautiful. I'm going to go into Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, gorgeous staple palette. And I'm going to use the color Sphinx, which is a beautiful... I'm using that with a flat synthetic brush in my inner crease. So like above, slightly below, I guess, my crease. Then I'm going to go in with Lure and the color Dimension from the Prism Palette. First, I'm going into Lure, which is that dusty mauve tone. And I'm going to do that above my crease and in the outer corners and flicking that past my brow. I'm really starting to map out this really winged out shape. So there I go, flicking that out, flicking it out, flicking it out. And then I'm gonna go into the color Dimension, which is a beautiful purple lavendery shade. I felt like it wasn't in, as intense with the brush, so I went in with my finger and pressed it on. It's very metallic in person. It looks even way more sparkly than it does on camera for some reason. And then I'm just blending out the edges with a flat synthetic brush. This is a BH Cosmetics one that came in a big set. This is Blush Baby Blush from MAC. This is actually my first blush I've ever, I ever purchased. That's why there's a huge hole in it. But I went in with the MAC 224, so any fluffy blending brush. And I'm doing that in my outer crease on top of that Lure color, out past my brows. Now I'm going back into Sphinx and deepening that up. And then I'm gonna go into this color called Osiris, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous color with the MAC 213 brush. If you don't have this brush, go get it. It's a perfect detailer brush. Um, and I heard they're getting rid of it, so definitely go get that. I'm gonna spray with a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC to intensify that, and I'm doing that on the outer half of my eye and flicking it out. I kind of did it a little too graphic, so I'm going in with the brush and blending that out with the blush baby. Um, so there I go. And I'm doing this onto my temples, like on purpose. I'm really blending out that blush onto the temples, onto the temples. I'm gonna use NYX glitter primer that for some reason broke, but this is the best glitter glue. It's so good and it doesn't mess up the texture of your shadow. You just have to use a little tiny, tiny bit on the lid and then right away have your glitter ready, which I'm using NYX Face and Body Glitter in Crystal. It's a gorgeous um, holographic silver color. It's a great dupe for Max 3D uh, glitter. Um, I love their glitters. They have so pretty, so many pretty glitters. I wish I, wish I had more, honestly. And then I'm gonna go into, this is Violet NYX Face and Body Glitter. For some reason, I forgot to film the actual shot of the glitter, but it's the same kind of bottle, and this one's called Violet, and it's a holographic purple violet color. The only color I'm using from this palette, which is the Juvia's Place um, Masquerade Mini Palette, is this color called Makeda, and it's a beautiful, vibrant violet shadow, and I'm doing that right on top of the outer edge of what we just did. And this I'm using to really intensify that color and make it pop and bringing that out and blowing it out into the blush. I always look back at my, at my face just to make sure I'm getting the symmetry. And then I actually went back in with the violet glitter from NYX and I'm pressing it onto my eyes and same thing with crystal just to intensify the glitter. I did this a lot of like several times. And then I'm using a liquid liner from NYC, it's like $2.99. Um, you definitely wanna use something liquidy and very black when you're lining your eyes with glitter because it'll cut through the glitter and show up. 
I love this liner. Look at how beautiful and easy it is for me to create a nice feline flick. It's a ride or die product. There's so many other good ones, but this is so cheap and it really does stay on long and it's it just awesome. And then I'm going in with the 213 brush with more of that Makeda from the Juvia's Place palette and really smudging that out. Then this is good old scotch tape. I'm using that to pick up any glitter that fell all over my face. If this wasn't a video, I would have probably done my eyes first and then done my foundation after. All right, going into Lucid from the Prism palette. It's a gorgeous duochrome gold slash white silvery color. It's really beautiful. Doing that in the inner tear ducts with that same 213 brush from MAC. And then this is MAC's Minted Eye Coal. I don't even know if they make it, but it's basically a true green eyeliner. And then for some reason, my camera cut out, but I went over with Throne, which is the green color from Prism, and a little bit in the inner corner with like a, the bronzy color from that palette, which is Eternal. Sorry, I don't have a shot of it. All I'm doing now is taking a beauty blender and actually taking some tinted moisturizer and going over my skin because my skin was a little dry since I am sick. And I'm doing this over my makeup to bring some glow back into it. Now I'm going in with Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter, which I got from Christmas. Thank you so much, Adriana. I love, love, love this highlight. It's very different than I expected. In this video, I applied it with my fingers, but I found the best way now that I've used it a couple times is with a brush. You, If you want it like a light application, use it with your fingers, but it's really nice. It's, and it's subtle if you use it by itself. It's more like a glow from within. And I'm doing that on the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow. Same area as I always highlight with. Then this is going back into Blush Baby Blush from MAC. And I'm using a uh, Luxie brush. And I'm using that way more in the back of the cheekbone. I really want to enhance the high cheekbone look. And really bringing that into the temples, extending from the eyeshadow. Don't be scared to do this. Girls are so scared to experiment and play with eye shapes. But I love this uh, look. I think it's so chic and high fashion-y. And it's beautiful, especially if you do it with a subtle color like Blush Baby. This is Ofra Dubai Liquid Lipstick, a great true nude lips liquid lipstick. Um, so I'm doing that and I'm giving you a beautiful shot of that again. I promise I'll get better at recording um, <laughs> lips, but there's that. And then I'm going into NARS's Lorin's Lip Liner Pencil, and I'm gonna kind of contour out my lips with this. I've done this in a lot of videos, so you can check back to those if you want a better shot. <laughs> I'm horrible at filming lips, guys, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I just contour, contour out the outsides and then blend it in. My favorite gloss to put pair over a nude or a pink lipstick is NARS Turkish Delight. Oldie but goodie. It's a true sexy pinky nude. It's like just a great one. And I'm doing that, really loading that up on the center of my lips because I wanted them to look juicy for the look <laughs> and now this is cover effects illuminating setting spray i really love this setting spray you just have to shake the crap out of it and i'm really focusing that more on the outsides of my face my face like i said was so dry right now because i'm sick and the weather it's freezing here in new jersey go over with my sponge to take off any water droplets and that's it girl you're done new year's eve popping <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this glittery look for New Year's Eve. Try it out. Try different products. Try different combinations. But have fun with your makeup. Also, thank you so, so much for subscribing. If you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure to hit the notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a new video. I'm so sorry I didn't have any videos out last week. Um, I was sick. It was Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm actually still sick as I film this, but I wanted to make sure I got a video out this week. Um, yeah, so thank you so, so much for watching. Please, please, please share this video. Give it a huge thumbs up. It gives me a big help. Make sure to follow all my social media handles. I'll leave them right over here, as always. And yeah, thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Baby. Bye. If you had to name this makeup, what would you name it? Look. Maleficent. Maleficent? What the fuck? Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Uh. All right, guys. That concludes the tutorial. Wow, I have a moco just pouring out of my nose. Mmm. Taco.
I will be filming. Why are you like cuddling with Molly? A cuddle session, like hardcore. <laughs> you know how hard it is to focus on the camera when you're like this. Literally, this is.